we can discuss the liquid question number 101 symmetric ring basically the symmetric means uh, the it should be the mirror of itself around its center okay they given the root and it left subtree and right subtree uh, left subtree consists of 2 3 4 and right subtree consists of 2 4 3 see what we are doing if it is a symmetric means we are returning it is a true if it is a not symmetric means we are returning it is a false let's understand briefly in the whiteboard let's we can take one example we need to check whether it is a mirror of itself symmetric or on its center we will do one center this is root okay the left child and right child have same value then we are recursively traversing the this t this is a one root we can call t1 and this is we can call t2 this is a t1's uh, subtree and it is a t2 subtree okay what we are doing we are checking t1's left t1's left okay and t2's right should be same value okay then we are checking t1's right and t2's left the value should be same then we are telling it is a symmetric and we are returning boolean value as true okay this is the logic let's we can understand how when the binary tree is not symmetric this is a root okay the left child and right child are same value no problem then we are traversing t1's left t1's left is 3 here t2's right is here null if it is a null means what will tell it is a not symmetric we are returning it is a false let's we can enter into the coding part first base condition if the root is null means we are returning it true in case if the root is not null means we are traversing its left and right with taking a function is mirror with a bool type and we are passing the t1 and t2 as parameters of tree node type t1 for left subtree and t2 for right subtree if the t1 is null and t2 is null both are null means we are returning it true now uh, t1 is null but t2 is not null or vice versa t2 is null t1 is not null then we are returning a false now we are checking t1 value and t2 values are same then we are recursively calling the function is mirror t1's left and t2's right and t1's right t2's left the value should be same okay then we are returning it is a true t1 value should be equals to t2 value now we are calling is mirror function we are checking t1's left and t2's right the value should be same let's we can write on this example uh, this is a base condition okay if the root is null means we are returning it true if the root is not null means we are traversing the roots left and the roots right here we pass a t1 and t2 as parameters okay Here, this is the t1 subtree and this is the t2 subtree. Okay. Now we are checking the t1 is null and the t2 is null. Both are null means we are returning it true. Here, if the t1 is null or t2 is null, any one will be null. Then we are returning it false. In this case, the t1 value and t2 values are same. See here, the t1 value is two and t2 value is also two. Same. Then we are calling recursively is mirror t1 left. The t one's left is three, okay, and t two's right is three. T one's right is four, and t two's left is four. Okay, the values are same. Then we will tell it is a symmetric. In this example, see, this will be the t one subtree and this is the t two subtree. Okay, uh, this is a base condition. If the root is null, means we are returning it true. Now root is not null, so we are traversing left and right. Now we are checking the t1 value and t2 values are same. Yeah, same. Then we are traversing uh, is mirror function t1's left and t2's right. The t1's left is, but t2's right is the having value. What we'll do? Just we are returning a false. If any one is null means false. If both are null means it is a true. Okay, and this is the uh, logic by using a recursive approach. Let's we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking big of n. Here, when n is the number of nodes, we are visiting all the nodes, so it is taking the time of big of n. When it comes to space complexity, it is taking big of h, where h is the height of the binary tree. 
because the function makes recursive calls to each node in the tree. Only in the worst case, the space complexity is big of n in the skewed binary tree. The skewed binary tree is visible like like this. We are storing all the nodes, so it is taking a space of big of n. We can understand how the iterative approach is going to work. In iterative approach, we are taking Q data structure. Q will work first in, first out. Okay. What we are doing, we will be creating a one Q. First, what we are doing, we are pushing the roots left and roots right in the chain. The roots left is 2 and the roots right is 2. Just we will be pushing the queue. After that, we are checking the queue should be not empty. Okay, if it is not empty, means what we are doing, we are taking this is front element, we will be storing in the left node. Our left node, we will be store the 2. After that, we will be pop out from the queue. Next, what the front element is this 2, right? This 2, what we are doing, we will be stored in the right node. This is a right node. We will be stored. After that, we will be pop out from the queue. Now, what we are doing, this left node and right node, the both are same. If both are same means only, then we will continue next step, okay? If both are same means what we are doing, we are pushing the left to child's left node and right child's right node this three this left child's node we are pushing right node this four right node child we are pushing left node this four in next step our front element will be this three what we are doing we will be storing in the left node this three will be stored after that we will pop out from the queue in the next iteration, this 3 will be the front element. What we will be doing, we will be stored in the right node. After that, we will be pop out. Now we are checking. This left and right child are the, are the same value. Yeah, then only we will continue. What we are doing, we are pushing the Q's left child. Here left is null. Now checking. Q's right child's right. It's null. Then we will see the Q's... Uh, left nodes right is null then we'll check it's the right nodes left is null if it is a null means what we'll be do just we will go to the next iteration in the next iteration the four is the front element just we will be stored in the left node after that we will pop out from the queue in next iteration the four is the front element just we will be stored in the right node after that we'll be pop out now we are checking the left node supports left and uh, this and right uh, and right sub this force as right node both are null then we are checking the fourth nodes right and this force left both are null if it is a null means we will go next step once the queue is empty means of then we will tell it is a symmetric okay this by using bfs bread first such approach we implemented this logic let's we can enter into the coding part let's we can take the base condition if the root is uh, null means we are returning a true after that we will be creating a queue with a tree node type with the name queue now we are pushing the roots left in queue and roots right in queue we will work until when queue should be not empty if it is empty means just we will come out of the while loop. That logic I will write now. Now what we are doing, we are storing the front element in the left node. After that, we will be popped out. After that, the front element will be stored in the right node. We will be popped out from the queue by using the popup function. In case the left node and right node both are same means we will continue. If the left node is null but the right node is not null or vice versa then we are returning a false.
if the left node value and right node value are not matching also we are returning false if the uh, first we will be pushing uh, left nodes left and right nodes right into the queue by using a push operation after that we will be pushing uh, left nodes right and right nodes left once the queue becomes empty then we will come out of this while just we will be returning the boolean value true let's we can dry run this logic for proper understanding let's we can dry run this logic uh, first step we will be create a queue with the name queue okay after that we will be pushing a roots left and roots right the roots left is 2 the roots right is 2 just we will be pushing in the queue now we are checking the queue is empty or not yeah it's not empty now what we are doing the front element is this is 2 okay just we will be storing the left node is 2 after that we will be pop out now we are doing this is front element we just we will be stored in the right node this 2 after that we will pop out now we are checking the left node and right node the values are same then we are continuing after that we are pushing the left node left and right nodes right See, this is the left node okay and this is the right node we are storing now left nodes left this three we will be pushing in the queue right nodes right now left nodes right the left nodes right is four right nodes left this four okay now we'll check Q is empty or not empty? It's not empty. Now the front element is this three. Okay, just we will be storing in the left node. After that we will be pop out. Next this three will be the front element. We will be stored in the right node. After that we will be pop out. Now we are checking the values are same. Then we will perform same task. The left nodes left. This is the left node. Okay, and this will be the right node. Now we are storing the left nodes left the left nodes left is null now checking this right nodes right this is also null now left nodes right null and right nodes left null if it is a null means just we will be not stored in the queue okay we will go enter into the next iteration the queue is not empty okay the front element is 4 just what we will be able to do we will be stored in the left node after that we will be pop out this four is the front element now just we will be stored in the right node after that we will be pop out the values are same so we will perform these things what we are doing this will be the left node and this will be the right node the left nodes left is null and right nodes right is also null so we will not push left nodes right will check left node right is null and right node left is null so we will not push in the queue once our queue becomes empty just will come out of this while loop we will be returning true and we are telling it is a symmetric okay this is the logic let's we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic the time complexity is taking big of n where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree. we are visiting all the nodes exactly once so it is taking the time of big of n where it comes to the space complexity it is taking big of n where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree let's we can run the code yeah this is accepted solution which we can submit yeah this is accepted uh, thank you guys for watching my video if you like this video please give the like